welcome to ProLight and Sound. And I'm Tony Zabo. I'm Director of Application Project for EMEA. And I'm going to tell you about L2. So this is L2, and up in the air, you'll see L2D, which is the down box for the L2 system. They both have the same drivers in it. So we have four pairs of 10-inch drivers at the front, a total of eight 10-inch drivers. We have eight three and a half inch drivers down this. This is one continuous waveguide with eight drivers in it. We have split it into four modules um, with the pan flex. So we can have 110 degrees, or we can have 90 degrees asymmetrical like this, or we can have it narrow at 70 degrees for a lot more power going straight ahead. The down box is very similar except the bottom two sections are actually fixed because they progressively open up from 110 degrees to 140 degrees. That's the difference with that box. So it's specially made for that. We can put a total of four boxes in one array. It could be four of the L2, or it could be three L2 and one L2D. The L2D is always on the bottom. What I haven't said yet is what we have on the side that you can't see. Behind here we have two twelve inch drivers. So we have two on each side. The side of the cabin, it's a little bit in here and the twelve inch is facing out to the side. But the exit is at the front where we can't see. But at the back, you can actually see, if you go around there, you'll see the exit for the twelve inch back here. We don't have any pins as part of the rigging system. The only pins we have left over is to attach the chariot to the box. The rest of it is pinless, so it's a very simple system. And we have the push button here to lock it in place. And that's locked in place at the back. So very simple system. We have no angles between the boxes. It's just connected together to make it very easy and very fast to set up. So we're comparing this to the K2. It's very close to being equivalent to four K2. And if we had K2, we would have four cabinets here and we would have lots of rigging to do in between the cabinets. We have lots of pins to, to uh, do, to work with, and we would have angles to change. And that is a lot of work. With the L2, we've taken that away. We just connect them straight together no angles between them, and it's a fast rigging system. So we can do it at least in a third, if not a quarter of the time to put a system up, compared to a K2. Even faster compared to a Cara, because Cara being smaller boxes, you need a lot more of them to get the equivalent, so you're doing a lot more connections. So what we have here at the front is a 10 degree vertical dispersion, and it progressively opens up as we go down to the bottom. It's getting open, more open as we go down. And the L2D, the vertical dispersion is 60 degrees. And again, it's a progressive opening as it comes down to the bottom. Uh, so we've done this for speed, but also one of the biggest things that we were looking at is what we have on the front for the HF. We have eight HF drivers. And over here we have the... LA7.16 amplifier, which is a 16 channel amplifier. It has 16 DSP channels and it's 16 channels of amplification. On the back is one SC32 connector. So it's a single cable that connects from the back here to the back of the L2 or the L2D. That cable only needs a 1.5 square mil conductor so the outside diameter of the cable is very similar to the outside diameter of the cable that we're using for a K2, which is an eight core but four square mil. So the reason that we can have the small conductor is because we're running higher impedance uh, in the L2. Less current means less copper needed. So we can do longer cable runs and we can use smaller conductors. So it's, it's very easy and very efficient. So coming back over here, 
while we're coming over, the LA 7.16, the other new thing is that we have a, an LA Rack 3. And the LA Rack 3 has three of the LA 7.16s in it and two LS 10s for Milan AVB networking and some analog or AES uh, patching for the, the redundant, the, the fallback system. So that's the new rack as part of the new system. And if we come back and talk about some of the technology we have over here, is the, the eight HF drivers here. What we've done is made the, made the equivalent of one waveguide. We've taken the gaps out of in between the drivers to improve our ARF. We want to be above 80% for our radiating factor and we have about 99% here. You'll also notice at the top of the cabinet, it's a very small gap between the next cabinet. So when you have four, when you have four cabinets joined together, and remember they touch each other when they join together, we have a very small gap. So we're keeping this ARF factor which means when you listen to this system and you're walking from the back of the room to the front on axis with it, it will sound like it is one driver that you're listening to because it's all combining as good as perfectly together and you hear no interactions between them. And that's what this increase in the ARF is doing for us.